Hey, welcome back. So I'm back here in my uh, admin section in the product area and I've clicked on edit. So I want to edit the women's top here. But now if you notice, once I open this, uh, it correctly uh, adds this data here, women's top, but it doesn't show me the actual quantity or the category that it's in or the price. And it also definitely doesn't show me the images that uh, the images that are here. So what I should do now is find a way to send the data from here to there. Now, currently what we are doing is if I go to my views in the products, that's product views. Actually, let's go to the uh, classes here, product class. So if I come to make table, that's a culprit right there. So if I come to make table, you see that the edit args are here. And these are the arguments there that I'm adding. So th this is well and good, but we can do it in a more robust way. Instead of these edit args being, uh, instead of them being uh, put like this, we can use uh, JSON. So let's give it a shot here, shall we? So what I want to do is figure out the arguments that I want. So for example, I have um, just the ones I need. So I'm going to say my args, just so we can, um, we will change them later to edit args, but, uh, or let's just say info, let's call it info. And then in there, the first item in info should be um, the ID, of course. So ID, I'm going to say is equal to this row ID right there. So we are keeping this information for when we want to edit, then we can just read from it. And let me duplicate this. And let me change that to description. So what else do we need? Oh, that is the description, right? Okay, so ID, description, and then what's next? Uh, the quantity. Quantity, of course, we need the price as well. Quantity, price, and then category. I think that actually does it. Category, oh, so there's image, image two, three, and four. So we will need those uh, guys as well. So I will copy this and say image, and then, so basic, uh, basically all the data that is required to display this item. So I will copy that, go to the end, put two, put three, and finally put four. Okay, so info contains all this uh, awesome data. Now I want to turn info into a string. So I'll just say um, info is equal to JSON. D uh, we want to encode it because we want to, to save it as a string. So encode that data as info. So let me copy this. And then uh, what I will do instead of all this is I will find a location. This is right here where I'm clicking edit. So this is the edit button. So right on the edit button, what I can do is add one attribute called info or data or whatever. So in here, I will paste my uh, my info attribute. 
So info is equal to PHP. So wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay, so it's inside uh, these quotation marks. So I will have to move out of these quotation marks, single quotes, like so. And uh, paste like that. So info. So let's see if this actually works here. So I will refresh the page and illegal string offset ID on line 122. Mm, very strong errors there. So let's see what's happening. So illegal string offset. Ooh. 